Greetings everyone, my name is Dr. Sunshine, and welcome back to Hollow Knight. I've got some bad news. Turns out, the footage that was gonna be for this episode ended up being corrupted, screwed up, I don't know what happened. In fact, let me just show you a little bit of what I found when I opened the file to start editing. Yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty screwed up. I tried finding a way to fix it, but there's just nothing that I could do. So, instead of showing you everything that happened in the last episode, I'm just gonna have to give you a rundown of it. It's unfortunate, but that's the best I can do. So to start, we went over and took out Galleon, the ghost in Deep Nest that wields the scythe. Uh, this guy, right here. Not too bad. It took a couple of attempts. I ended up using the Abyss Shriek and that made the fight really trivial. That spell is fantastic. So after that, we went back to the Seer because we had well over 900 Essence. I think we were up to 1,020 or something like that. But we went back to her and she gave us the next reward which was the Dream Gate. And the Dream Gate allows you to warp around the world. As far as I can tell, I haven't used it yet but I think that's what it's used for. And then at that point, the next goal was, I think, 1200 essence, and I wasn't sure if we should just continue grinding that out. So instead of doing that, I decided we should go after the final dreamer. So we headed over to the City of Tears, and oh, quick side note, we also found an area called the Pleasure House. Nothing too special, there was a hot spring there, a bench, there was a cool ghost lady that had a beautiful singing voice. But beyond that, unless I missed something, I didn't find anything too special over there. So back to the dreamer. We climbed up the tower, which was super easy with the double jump. And really the only hurdle getting up there was a boss fight with a boss called the Watcher Knights. It's actually multiple enemies and not just one singular boss. Basically, it's a ton of copies of one enemy type, and when you take one down, one respawns and takes its place. You just keep doing that over and over until all of their revive energy, or whatever that is, is exhausted. And then you win the fight and move on. That one was pretty tough, but it only took a few attempts. It just required a lot of dodging. I mean, really, what fight doesn't require that? And then we just headed up to the very top and took out the Dreamer which removed the final seal on the black egg, and honestly, that's all it did. It didn't open the door, nothing else happened. So after we took out the final dreamer, I wasn't sure what we should do next, and I didn't want to head over to the black egg right away. So I took a little bit of time and looked up where the second white fragment is located. I really opened up a can of worms on that one. It turns out that the second white fragment is found off of the Pale King in the White Palace. And the White Palace is an area that we haven't been to yet. And the only way you can get there is by hitting that knight that we found in the palace grounds. You gotta hit him with an Awoken Dream Nail. And the Awoken Dream Nail is acquired by gathering 1800 Essence. Now at the time I was torn on whether or not we should go after the essence because it is optional to go to the White Palace and do all that stuff. But thinking about it, I don't want to miss out on any extra area just because I don't want to gather up extra essence. So we're going to be working on that. But at the time when I was recording, I was still indecisive so instead of searching for essence, we went back up to the Colosseum and ran that second trial again to get the Pale Ore. That took a handful of attempts. It was pretty challenging doing the mid-air combat, but we got it in the end. And I found out that we only need one more Pale Ore, and that will allow us to upgrade the nail one final time. So we might as well do that alongside searching for Essence. And I think that's about everything. I might have missed some things here and there, but honestly, I didn't plan on my recording screwing up, so we're just kind of rolling with it right now. So with all of that out of the way, we can actually move on to today's episode. And I think what we're gonna do is work on getting that essence and also going after that pale ore. And you know, thinking about why don't we get the pale ore first and then we can devote all of our attention just to gathering up essence. So 
look in here, the final bit of pale ore that we're looking for is... Oh! It's actually from the grubs. We need to rescue 31 and they'll reward it to us. I don't know. I think we've rescued 31. I haven't exactly kept track. Uh, there's still a handful on the map. Uh, I'm just going to take a hunch that we've rescued around 31. And if we haven't, I can always do that while we're going after Essence or even in between episodes. All right. Well, I will meet you over at the Grubs then. Okay, just gotta bank my way over here. Oh, so glad they're not infected in here. Hey, everybody! Please tell me I've rescued 31. Oh, it's a lot of Geo. I just need to see that glowing orb. Come on. Ooh. Is that... Yeah, we did it, okay. So that means we'll be able to upgrade the nail to its top form. Oh, it's so good. Is that everything? Okay. Well, honestly, there's not too many grubs left. I don't know if that's something that we'll complete, but really there aren't a whole bunch left. Well, now that we have all this, I don't know if we have enough Geo, but I'm just gonna guess that we do. We have enough Pale Ore, I know that. So I'm gonna head over to the Nailsmith, and we will try and upgrade this. Hmm, oh, you've returned. I see you have some Pale Ore, a rare fine metal that. Give me the ore and some Geo for my efforts, and I'll reforge your nail to make it stronger. That's all I can ask for. Okay, we've got enough Geo. Oh, this should be the top end. As you wish, I'll get to work then. Oh, so excited. It's done. The reforging is done. Your nail is much stronger than it used to be. As strong as it could ever be. In only your weapon have I seen such potential. Finally, I behold the majesty of a pure nail. Ooh. To think this moment has come upon me so soon. I... I must step outside a moment. Oh. Okay. Hope he's not upset. So wait, do we have... Do we have the nail? Oh, pure nail. So cool. Okay. Hey, buddy. You alright? Ah, Ranjo Stenja. With a pure nail forged, my work in this lifetime comes to an end. My only remaining desire is to see and feel the nail strike true. Uh... I hope that's not... Uh... I, oh, I beg you, cut me down. As my final moment in life, I want to taste the blade's exquisite edge. I don't feel comfortable with that. I don't like that. After all this time, all this toil, haven't I earned it? Uh, okay. I have to honor his wishes. Oh, oh purity. I feel bad. He was so cool. Is he just... Okay, he just fell in the water then. Well, I mean, great. We've got an upgrade nail, but we had to... We had to kill the guy who made it. Okay, well, bittersweet, but now we are at full power. So now that that's taken care of, we need to get on the essence grind. And in essence of time, and to try and be efficient, I'm just gonna pull up a list of all the different essence sources so we're not bumbling around the world trying to figure out what we're missing. So it looks like there's a few different sources. I think to start we should work on the warrior dreams, those ghosts that we've been fighting. Because they typically have a bit of essence tied to beating them. 
And it looks like here, there's three that we haven't beaten. Oh, that's right, there's one in Kingdom's Edge. How did I forget about that one? Uh, which one is closest here? So it looks like there's one in the Fungal Waste right there? That's not too far. We're actually pretty close to that. There's the one in Kingdom's Edge. And then there's one in the Howling Cliffs. Did we see that one? I don't think we have, because it's a little bit further up. Still shadowed out on the map. Okay. Well, I think to start, let's go over to the Fungal Waste. Then maybe we'll go over to the Howling Cliffs since we haven't been there in a while. And then we can finish out in Kingdom's Edge. Then we'll reassess and see how much essence we have. And we might have to go after those trees and maybe some of these other sources. But let's just see how much essence we get from the ghosts. So I will see you over in the Fungal Waste. Okay, I think I'm in the right spot. Should be right over here, I think. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, we must have seen this before and just didn't bother with it? Must have. I just don't remember this guy. Okay. Elder Who. Wait, child. Why have you come here? Have you come to tame this savage ruined land? Many have come to purify this place, but all who dwell here are eventually consumed. Yes, even the wild bugs lurking below us, they were once proud like you, but now they are only monsters. Beware dreams of glory, child. Turn back and do not return. I I need I need essence though. Okay, Elder Who. I'm gonna try the Abyss Shriek on you and hopefully it works out. Oh yeah, you float above, that's good. Ooh, that's a cool move. Hold on, wait, oh. Hey, how he completely disappears. Oh, stop it. Whoa. Hold on. No, 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 no. There we go, oh. I don't know how, oh. I don't know how strong he is. Oh, not good. I'm gonna have to heal. Ooh, okay. You can definitely avoid those attacks, but they just have a narrow, oh. They have a narrow window of where you can actually hang out. Okay. I think we can do this. Knowing his attack set now, I should be able to manage. Okay, got my soul back, full up, ready to go. Let's do this. Float there. No, no, take the, whoa. He moves so quick, it's kinda hard to get the Abyss Shriek on him. Don't move. Oh. There, I think that was a pretty good one. Yeah, that was a good one. Oh. Okay. Come on. How tanky are you? He's gotta be weak, right? Oh. 
Oh, come on. You gotta be weak. Oh! I know I can do it. I just don't know how tanky he is. Oh! Okay, third time's the charm. I don't want to jinx myself, but I think it's gonna be third time's the charm. I think we're doing pretty good. But it's just impossible to say when there's no health bar to actually judge our progress. Yeah, no. Stupid ring attack. Oh. All right. Oh. Okay. Quit with that move. Oh, okay. I'm just gonna try and save my dodge for that move. Because it's hard to actually predict where I need to stand. Sometimes I can get away with it, but a lot of times it's really tough. Oh. Ah. Oh. I want to know how weak you are. Uh, it's just impossible to tell. Because this attack pattern isn't really changing up either. Sometimes you can tell if they're getting into their final phase because they get a lot more intense, but this one is basically the same attack pattern. Okay, heal please. Oh, yes! Oh. We did it. Okay, I guess we just can't rely on the Abyss Shriek in every fight. It kind of worked in this one, but he teleports so quickly that it's just a bit more unreliable. My mind, it clears. Have we been sleeping, child? Ah, I remember. Those proud lords. Were they truly monsters? I remember their eyes now, bright and clear. Why then did I fear them so? If there was madness in that village, it was I who brought it. They were right to cast me out. When I attacked, they were right to. They were right to kill. To kill me? Ah. Okay. So you attacked the Mantis Lords and they killed you? Confusing. And it looked like he gave us a hundred essence, so that's not bad. Right now we need, what, 700 and, no, 680? 680, roughly. Okay, well, let's head over to the Howling Cliffs then. See what that one's all about. Oh, the good old Howling Cliffs. Now, is there a bench around here? I don't know, because it is a bit of a trek to get back up here from the green path. Uh, Wait, is that a secret wall? Oh, what did I miss over here? Ooh. Higher beings, these words are for you alone. These blasted plains stretch never-ending. There is no world beyond. Those foolish enough to traverse this void must pay the toll and relinquish the precious mind this kingdom grants. Okay. But is there a charm here? Ooh. Ah. Wow. We can get some Geo, I guess. Don't really care about the Geo at this point. Oh. Wait, where's this go? Thank <laughs> you. 
Uh. Wait, what is this? Oh. Well, what's the point of this room? Alright. Whoa. The corpse of a large bug. Well, that's accurate. Can I dream nail? Dr dream nail? Ooh. Um. Okay, that's really weird. It looks like I did something, but... I, I don't know. Oh. Whoa, okay. How did I miss all of this? You miss one secret wall, and you miss out on so much extra stuff. What? Oh. Oh! Okay, maybe I shouldn't have hit that. Uh... I can't move, so I'm locked in right now. Oh. What? What was that all about? Can I dream nail this? Um... Has anything changed over here? Oh, I'm so lost. What... What have I done? Is there something different out here now? Uh... I... I, I don't think so? This looks about the same. Is there anything new on the map? No? Okay, I, I have no idea. I don't know what I did. I activated something. Maybe we'll run across something that's changed. Oh, was there a bench near... There might have been a bench near where Cornifer was. Can we just get a bench? Ooh, we can get some extra. Oh, wait, no, this is the where we got the Joni's blessing. I think. So that that doesn't matter. I don't know if we'll get a bench over here. Maybe there is one up top. I just can't remember. We haven't been to this area in a while. Come on, bench. Just give me a nice spot to respawn. Oh, we did come across you. Or maybe we came across the statue and not you. I think it was the statue because we didn't have the dream nail at the time. Okay. Well, before we do that, I just want to see if we can get a bench because it's a long way back here. And I really don't want to have to traverse all the way over here again. Come on, please. Oh, this is the drop. There's gotta be a bench. Oh, actually, yeah, there is one. It's where the Nail Master is. Yeah, there should be one right here. Oh, good. Good, I'm so happy. Uh, anything on the map change? No? I'm still leery. I don't know what I activated. Ugh. I shouldn't just go hitting random things, but, you know, I'm, I'm curious. I can't help it. Alright. Gorb? What a great name. I am Gorb! Ah. Great. <laughs> bow. Bow, 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 bow to Gorb. No? The Great Mind. I am Gorb. Ascend, ascend. Ascend, ascend, ascend with Gorb. I hope that he's a joke because he sounds like one. Okay. Yeah, you're gonna take the- Oh! 
We're gonna take the abyss shriek. Ooh. Oh, I screwed up. Okay, the attack isn't too hard to dodge. Unless there's a variation of it, I think I can man it. Ooh. Speaking of variation, still pretty easy. Yeah, that's some good damage. Come down here. Ooh. I think we're doing pretty good, because now he's doing three. Oh, why'd you teleport? Oh! We wrecked him. <laughs> oh my god. I think that was mostly the Abyss Shriek, because that spell is amazing! Oh, we're doing good. I... am Gorb. The Great Mind. The Pain. Ascend! Ascend! I... I am. Okay, that is the weirdest ghost we've faced. How much has it? Oh, Only a hundred? Ugh, I mean, we're making a dent. But I was hoping for more. Like, maybe 200 per? That would've been a lot easier to get to our 1800 goal. Ugh. Okay. Well, there's one more over in Kingdom's Edge. We've seen him before. So, I'm just gonna make my way over there. Whoa. What the hell? We're in- wait, we're in Dirtmouth, right? We're right outside dirt. Oh my god. The well, I think this is the result of me hitting that thing. You got got something to say about this? Ah, look there. Something strange and sinister has suddenly appeared. Ugh, it fills me with dread. I think at best I try to ignore it. Huh. Uh, what what's going on in here? Oh. Hello. Babala Geno. Broom? Hmm, you called us? Um, unintentionally? Didn't know what I was doing? Speak to Master. Okay. Oh, this is a big room. Oh. Please no fight. Please no fight. I've got my own stuff I'm working on. Oh! Uh... So, it was you who called us. Troop Master Grim. Well met, my friend. Well met. I am Grim, master of this troop. The lantern has been lit, and your summons heeded. A fine stage you choose. This kingdom followed by worm and root. Perfect earth upon which our ritual shall take place. And you, my friend, your own part is far from over. As the lantern flared, your roll was cast, our compact written in scarlet fire. Eager we are to see you commence, but first, some illumination is required. Grim Ooh, we got a charm! Across these lands, my kin now spread, harvesting that essence peculiar to my breed, the flame and dream. Seek my kin, claim their flame, and return it to me. Together, marvels shall be achieved. But don't fret, small one. For this task you won't travel alone. My child shall guide you to the flame and gather within itself that burning essence. Like you, the child plays key role in this task. Only with it by your side will the flame and my kin reveal themselves to you. Huh. You know, um, I think this is actually one of the DLCs. I was aware that this had multiple DLCs, I just I just always figured it was something that you did after beating the game. That's cool. I don't know how much we'll do of it, because we have our own stuff that we're working on. But we, we got a charm. Ooh. Grimchild. Warned by those who take part in the Grim Troops ritual. The bearer must seek the Grimkin and collect their flames, 
Uncollected flames will appear on the bearer's map. Oh. So maybe it's like the compass and it'll just show me stuff on the map or show me where to go. Alright. Well, that's kind of cool, but again, I don't know how much we'll do of this DLC. I like the style of it, for sure. Well, uh, if anything else has changed... Actually, maybe we... Should we check the stores? There's probably nothing new in here, right? Nope. Nope. Okay. So it's its own thing. Alright, well, that was surprising. But we're just gonna go on with our typical stuff, and I'll meet you over in Kingdom's Edge. Alright, here we are. Okay, you're the final ghost. And it's kind of worrisome that there's platforms all around here. I like staying on just one level. Ugh, but we gotta do it. We need the essence. Markoth. Raise your weapon then, fool, and die like those who came before you. Okay, well, let's see what we can do. Yeah, you're gonna take the abyss. Whoa. He has a shield, I saw. Oh, yeah. He's got. The oh. So you can just summon those wherever you want. Okay, come on. Yeah. I don't care about your shield. Although I do kind of care about where those nails are going. Oh my god. Oh, now he's got multiple shields! There's no way I can heal in this fight, right? I don't think there is. Maybe if I had a... Uh... Boulder Shell? I think that's what it's called. Maybe I could get away with that. In fact, is that one cost? Because maybe I'll try that. Uh, that's two cost. Okay, well then let's just try it again and see what we can do. Okay. What am I going to do in this fight? Maybe I shouldn't rely on Abyss Shriek as much. I, I mean, I can get him some hits, but maybe... Once things start to pick up, I should start just moving around the arena and try nail hits and maybe just do the, the basic, what was it called, the Shade Soul. I, how am I forgetting these names? <laughs> but I'll, I'll try and mix in different spells. I'm just really used to the Abyss Shriek doing massive damage, so it's hard to get away from that. Okay. How many times is it going to take, Markoth? Oh, I hate that nail. That nail especially is a reason why I just can't rely on the Abyss Shriek, because I can't move around as much. That worked out pretty good. Oh. Oh, I really want to heal. Oh my god. Stop with that. Ooh, I think that's my window, actually. I'm supposed to just dodge his nails, and then, uh... And then when he spins up the shield, I actually get a window to heal. Oh my god, these nails! Oh, I'm gonna die. Oh, I'm so gonna die. Oh, he cornered me. Okay, I'm learning. All right, same plan as before. And now I know to not heal until he starts spinning the shields around. Okay, come on, Markoth. I know I can beat you. I've beaten all of your other ghost friends. Open with this. Good. Keep moving around. Oh. Heal. Come on. Get 
take a little bit of damage. Oh, really? You're gonna spawn it right there on top of me? No, 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 no. They all mine. Hold on. <laughs> oh, I hate these nails. Alright, he's spinning the shield. Oh, I can only heal once. That's dumb. Oh, we just spammed him right there. Holy crap. I thought that was going to end badly because we were right next to him. So we we're going to just take damage. But oh, my God, we were able to get max damage on him. Oh, fantastic. Okay. Never have I been defeated in combat. I can see myself there still sleeping. How long have I been hidden here? Here at the edge of the world, no one could find me except you. Warriors, knights, kings, even time itself, they have no power over me, only you. You are the darkness, come to consume me. Oh, that's ominous. Ooh. How much? Ooh, that was, uh, 200... 250? Good god, we only need, like, we need less than 400 now. Okay. Well, I'm not sure how long this episode's gonna be after I edit it, but I think we're gonna call it there. I'm gonna look for the best way to get our last 300 to 400 essence, and when we come back, we'll knock that out and probably go to the White Palace. Oh boy, well I'm still annoyed that the footage from the last episode was wasted, but at least we're making good progress right now, and I feel like we're back on track. So hopefully the footage in the future doesn't screw up, but for now, I think we're smooth sailing. Thank you all for stopping by, if you enjoyed what you saw, please be sure to hit that like button down below, share your thoughts in the comments, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next episode. Bye now.